Hey guys, it's Friday and I wanted to take some time to speak to you and encourage your heart. Um, we love doing this on Friday, our Friday focus. And we have Pastor Will on Wednesday and Brother Matt on Monday. And of course, then we have church on Sunday. Um, to be honest, I really have no idea. I'm, I'm in a state of prayer as to what church will look like on Sunday. But I, I do want to share this with you. Uh, we've said all along that uh, it's your decision. It's your, your personal responsibility uh, to take care of yourself and to be wise. Um, as the pastor of the church, I, I just prayerfully try to walk in wisdom. We have uh, changed some things at our church, and we also have uh, several rooms that you can go into and be socially distant if you want. Uh, we have masks that are made of, uh, available to you to wear, and we just have to uh, ask the Lord, what does He want from us in this in this time? It's so easy to get distracted from really what the main thing is. I'm reminded of the story in God's Word that um, focuses around the disciples. Um, I love, I love to be in a boat. I love to go out and fish. I love those things. It's something about uh, the sea that is just calming. At the same time, there's something about the sea that is. Can, that is fearful and it can be feared, especially when a storm comes up and the winds are blowing and the waves are, are, are getting uh, taller and, and contrary, as the Bible would call it. And we see such a story in God's Word when Jesus is not with his disciples physically and they are out on the water and a storm comes up. But Jesus begins to walk in their direction, begins to walk on the water. And they see him and they think it's a ghost. And they, they say, you know, Peter says, Lord, if it's you, bid me come unto you. And, the, and Jesus says, come. Peter steps out of the boat. He begins to walk across the water on waves, which is crazy to think that, you know, I'm sure maybe a disciple's like, Peter, what are you doing? You know, there, you, you can't walk on water. There's no way you're going to be able to do that. But Peter's focus wasn't on the task. The, Peter's focus was on the one who bid him come. He believed that when Jesus said to come, that Jesus would take care of it. And so as Peter began to walk on the water, how amazing that was. But just like any storm that that comes our way, there is howling winds and there is uh, crashing waves. And when we begin to look at the storms around us and we take our eyes off of Jesus, that's when we begin to sink in despair. So I wanna encourage you today, keep your focus and your faith on Jesus Christ. Don't let it cause you, the storms around you, cause you to sink in despair and to worry. Cry on your knees, cry out to Jesus. The Bible says that he immediately was there and he lifted Peter up out of the waves, back onto the water. Whatever you're facing, cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ. He's always there. He will lift you out of your, your sea of despair and have you walk on the water with him. So trust him. Joshua says, be strong and of good courage. Be not, dis, uh, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. And so you just remember that. The God is with you wherever you go, and he is still the God of the storm and can walk on the water, and you can walk with him. I hope you have a great Friday. I love you. God bless you.